Okay, so here I am today at Bakersfield High School. Uh, I've been invited to come share Christ uh, with a club here, and so I'm super excited. I uh, went to this high school, 2009, graduated from this high school. Uh, kids are now half my age, crazy to think about, but it's like, God, I'm so excited to know that uh, when I left this place in 2009, I was a mess, I was dead in my sin, but now I've been alive in Jesus Christ for 12 years, one month and five days. So I pray that God just opens up the door, that people come to know Jesus. And so uh, video to follow to see what God is gonna do today. Lord willing, the angels will rejoice in heaven over the sinners that come to repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. Praise God. Bakersfield High School. Okay, so just got done sharing Christ here at Bakersfield High School and um, what an opportunity this is. I've been just smiling from ear to ear since I ever got invited just to come back to my old high school and to be able to share Christ. And so was able to share Christ with the freshmen and sophomores for the first hour. And then I was able to share Christ with the junior and seniors the second hour. And the second time there was actually some teachers that came and sat in and it just blew my mind to think like, here I am sitting in these classrooms and when I left Bakersfield to go to Kansas to play football, I was so lost and just so dead. And then to come back now fully alive in Jesus Christ and to go share with kids half my age now and to say like, man, like you're not gonna find any satisfaction outside of these walls, outside in this world, outside of Christ. You're not gonna find it. Only Jesus will truly satisfy. That's why he says in John seven, right? In verse 37, he says, come to me and drink all you that are thirsty right? So our true satisfaction will come out of Jesus. But long story short, uh, got to share the gospel, the good news of our salvation in Jesus Christ through obviously his death, burial, resurrection, and our response to that and repentance and turning from sin and faith, putting all of our faith, hope, trust, confidence, and belief in Jesus Christ so that we might be saved. And uh, I was given 15 minutes per session to share with these kids. Um, and I just thought to myself, and the way that I've been thinking at least for the last week or so, as like, man, if I had 15 minutes to share with anybody and it would be the last time I ever get to talk with them again, what would I say? And I'm like, there's nothing better to share than Jesus and what he did because of us, right? He went to the cross because of our sin, but for us. That's why Romans 4.25 says that he was delivered for our offenses and raised again for our justification. So only God knows the true impact here at Bakersfield High School um, here in uh, March of 2024. Only he really knows, but I'm just thankful that he would consider me to be able to come back to this place when I was so broken and lost and dead in my sin. And now that I have life to be able to come back and share uh, with kids who were, I was once their age and be able to share with them uh, the goodness of our God in his salvation and all that he did for us. So praise be to God, most high. I am so very grateful and thankful for the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, for this opportunity. So I pray that God uses every single one of you and the gifts that he's called you to. And uh, wherever you go, whether it's in the streets, at the grocery stores, at your workplace, family's house, wherever it is, don't be ashamed of the gospel. I was reading that this morning, Romans 1 16, Paul says, for I am unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for is the power of God to salvation to all that believe, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. So it's the power of God to salvation. So don't be ashamed. Praise God. Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity. Bakersfield High School, drillers, praise the Lord.